Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest cars released each year in terms of lap time as of the Arena War update. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the best lap time the vehicle achieved in the top right. If you're interested in the performance of all vehicles in the game, check the playlist link in the description or the pinned comment alongside the top speed testing series. If you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. And for the performance of any future vehicle editions, feel free to subscribe for new testing videos every Thursday and check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you'd like to support me and get testing results early. So 2013 first of all needs a little bit of a caveat because spoilers didn't increase traction back then so the lap times that you see on the screen there wouldn't have been attainable by any of these cars back then because they would have gotten they basically get more lap time better lap times from the extra traction that those spoilers gave when they were added early in the game but the top five list likely wouldn't have changed apart from maybe the adder sneaking in ahead of the cheetah or the felter it was a much simpler time back then and those cars that we saw like the entity and the elegy were the kings back in the early days now 2014 was a bit of an interesting year with sort of new on pace vehicles like the zentano the turismo we also had the, the two jesters and the massacros all added in 2014 which brought more balance to the sports class and brought more interest to races and then 2015 is where we started to see the crazy price increases with specifically the t20 and the, the osiris but beyond that there wasn't really much to shout about given that the third and fourth quickest cars from that entire year as you can see with a shaft of v12 uh, and, and the Shaft of E12 armoured version with the Falira in 5th place so apart from the T20 and the Osiris we didn't really get an awful lot of really really quick cars in 2015 now obviously as, we can, as, as you might have paid attention to on the screen you have the release date of each of the, the best cars from each year in the top left where it is in its class currently today um, and then all the rest of the, the top 5 in the bottom left as well so 2016 is where we saw some big changes on a number of fronts because we got the introduction of first of all rocket powered vehicles with the rocket Voltic, which is obviously the first one on this list but we also got things like downforce cars such as the RE7B we also got a lot of very quick non downforce vehicles as well like the Tempesta the Nero Custom and the X80 Proto which were all reasonably well balanced with 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 what was at this point becoming a much bigger supercars class um, when you take out when you took out the re7b there was quite a lot of supercars that you could use and i would say that 2016 was probably one of the best years for car releases overall now in 2017 we obviously the vigilante is currently the quickest vehicle in the supercars class the quickest car overall in the game so it's no surprise that this was the quickest car released in 2017 but if you obviously look to the second place vehicle that was the Wagner which is the number one uh, quickest rocket powered car over a uh, non rocket powered car overall and then in fifth place the fifth quickest car that was released in 2017 is the Pariah which is the quickest non rocket powered sports car so in three different ways 2017 gave us what is still currently the quickest cars in the game in certain classes and certain different ways so pretty big year 2017 in terms of uh, vehicle additions now 2018 was obviously the year of the advanced handling flags with only really the comet sr in the top five list not having those horrible bouncy physics um, and you know engine slowdowns and things like that so while our top four this year do prove that advanced handling cars can be quick the majority of them really did suffer in terms of lap time in comparison to cars from the previous years and they all gave horrible driving experiences and that's something that we still have to uh, deal with even now. For me this does make that you know some of these cars the most forgettable we've ever seen over the last five years and I simply just don't want to drive most of the cars that we've seen from 2018 onwards with advanced handling flags. And then we come to 2019 where only six cars have been released so far for this year for 2019 and we're already into may and they're actually all added with the arena war dlc which was added to the game in december 2018 so we haven't actually had any downloadable content update for gta in 2019 
and there's only been, like I say, six vehicles that have been released in 2019. The only one that you're not seeing on this list being the RC Bandito, which would be in sixth place. So obviously the Divestade clearly sticks out from a performance standpoint, but really the Schlagen GT in second place there is the real hero of this list, being the only one without any advanced handling flags, being perfectly balanced with a lot of the sports class cars when you take out the top four. Um, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the year brings when it comes to cars in 2019, and we'll see if the Divestate can be beaten by something else, or things will change with regards to advanced handling flags. But yeah, those have been basically, as we're seeing a comparison between the fastest car from 2019 versus the fastest car from 2013, and we don't really see an awful lot of difference in terms of lap time, but throughout the years we've seen a big difference in the types of vehicles that we see, rocket powered vehicles, you know, downforce vehicles. Obviously from 2016, 17 and 18 the top vehicles were all rocket powered vehicles, the quickest vehicles added in those years, but you only just have to look at the, the you know, that's why I included the, the top five list from second to fourth, fifth place because there's a quite an interesting selection of vehicles in those top five from each year. So like I said, these have been the top vehicles in each year. They haven't necessarily been a case of, you know, one car got the best lap time and then was unbeaten until this next car came out. I wanted to just look at each individual year, 2013 to 2019, and see what the best cars that were released and see the differences and the way that cars have changed over the years. So hopefully you guys found this one interesting, just as a, as a kind of even you know, looking back to the past and for those who are new to the game, you can see when certain quick cars were released over the years because the game's had a long life, These, you know, when you think about it and a lot of cars that we kind of take for granted now, they weren't even in the game when it was first released. So that's pretty much it. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more and consider supporting on Patreon or becoming a member on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.